Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another What I Eat In A Day. Um, today's video is a little bit different from my previous What I Eat In A Days because my diet has changed quite a bit. Um, I suffer from Hashimoto's thyroid disease. I've known that and I've had it for about um, nine years now. So since I found out about that, I've been gluten free just because it helps with autoimmune um, disorders like that. Um, it's helped me a lot being gluten free and it's actually really easy for me now. It's like no big deal. So I recently added being dairy free to my diet as well. It's actually been surprisingly easy. So besides for myself being dairy free, um, which is also like good when you have autoimmune disorders to try to cut dairy out. Um, my daughter has really bad eczema so we cut dairy out for her and I'm still nursing her. So um, I cut the dairy out of my diet and her skin is like honestly 99% better at first we didn't think that it was getting better however I learned that our bodies heal from the top down so like her arms and her belly was good but her legs were still bad so that's why I didn't think it was working however we stuck with it for about three weeks and we really saw the difference and now her skin is almost completely clear so that's our dairy situation so it may sound like oh my gosh gluten-free dairy-free but honestly I have been loving my food options um, I actually like like my diet even more now. It's surprisingly been very easy because I love cheese and nachos and things like that, but I found some really great alternatives. The one thing I do do that still has a little bit of dairy in it is I put a very small amount of whipped cream on my coffee because that's like just how I drink my coffee. Um, however, we were out, so today I just had normal coffee. So a lot of you know I was doing the celery juice, so now I'm just doing that um, every other day. It's just a little bit more attainable. I did it every day for two months straight um, and I really feel the benefits of it. Honestly, there's just so many mornings that we've had rough nights and I just want to wake up and have my coffee right away. So it's kind of been bad with that, but I still do it every other day. I still really think it helps me a lot, especially like just with digestion and all of that. So I'm also going to show you like what supplements I take and everything like that because a lot of you have been asking and you know, this can change um, next week. So you never know. I've been kind of like messing around with everything, seeing what works for me. Um, so if you want to see more what I eat in a day, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, let's get started. I hope that you get some inspiration or maybe even some meal ideas from this. Um, I did already take my Synthroid. I'm on 100 micrograms of Synthroid. My hopes with my diet changes is that eventually I will be able to um, decrease my medication. Um, I would never do that without going to see my doctor or getting blood work or anything like that. So I'm not never like promoting to uh, decrease your medication, but that is my hopes for my diet change. Since my diet change and kind of the reason why I'm sticking to it is because I haven't had the numbness or tingling in my forehead. Um, and I definitely have not been as bloated. So the tingling in my forehead was like a big symptom of my thyroid for me. So now that that's been like almost completely gone, it's motivated me to keep going with my new diet. So let's go make some breakfast. I was hiding up here because my kids are really loud. Um, it is actually 10.08, but the time change just has me like, uh, it was, it's kind of crazy. We're running late today, but it's okay. I'm recording this on Monday. You're for example, you're seeing this on uh, Tuesday, so you're seeing it the very next day after I filmed it. Um, we had a rough night last night with the kids and we're still kind of like adjusting to the time change and we don't have school or anything on Monday. So that works out pretty well for us. Hopefully we'll be back on schedule tomorrow. This is my morning lineup of supplements for right now. This is what I'm taking every morning. 
um, after my Synthroid. Okay, so this is my favorite brand of gluten-free bread. Um, they just came out with this deli rye style, or at least this is just new to our area. But this is delicious. I'm going to make this into some toast, and then I'll show you what I put on top. have this as a snack these are really really good delicious bars you have to check them out they're sold at like Starbucks and Target I think you can get them on Amazon too but this is the peanut butter and jelly one this has been my go-to lunch lately you've probably seen this on my Instagram but these are the Dr. Prager's they are um, burgers that actually taste like burgers but they're made out of veggies and there's 22 grams of plant protein I love the California ones too but I think there's only like seven grams of protein in that so there's definitely more protein in this so I have the oven preheating on 450 and then I'm gonna make this and top it with some ketchup and some bread and butter pickles. I know it's probably grossing everybody out, but I love bread and butter pickles. And then I'm gonna put some of these chips on the side. These are like some of my favorite chips.
we're getting ready to go to the park. I'm just bringing a banana with me. And then this is like my favorite iced coffee. Just pour it. I don't even need anything in it because it's so good. You have to try it. It's really, really good. Right, we just got back in the park. It's like the most beautiful day here in Pennsylvania, but I'm trying to catch up on my water. I'm so thirsty. It's a little late to be starting dinner for us, but daylight saving time was yesterday, and we're just like completely off of our schedules, but it's 527, and we're gonna grill because like I said, it's beautiful outside. We got some salmon, some shrimp, and some chicken. I really wanted corn on the cob, but we don't have any here yet, but I can't wait to have corn on the cob. Um, probably just gonna do... Okay. Um, a salad and some roasted potatoes with it. So before I start cooking, I'm just pouring myself a little bit of ningxia and some lime salsa. My kids are jamming out hard to trolls in the background so I have to hurry up before I get demonetized for copyright. <laughs> so um, I got gold potatoes, um, some chicken thighs, some wild caught salmon and some wild caught shrimp.
You guys are gonna eat all the chicken before it even gets to the table. Yeah. Is it good, sis? Is it good? Mm-hmm. <laughs> High five for the chicken eaters. <laughs> okay, apparently I'm the mother of a bunch of chicken eaters. Look at Ella dancing, that's how good it is. Is it good? You inherited that from me, kids. Meanwhile, I'm waiting for the salmon and the shrimp and vegetables. I'd like a side of chicken to go with my chicken, please. got the kids to sleep and now it's time for my little treat for dessert um, I love this ice cream guys and it's made out of like mainly coconut um, I feel like you do have to like coconut to like this though because it definitely has like a coconutty flavor um, and this is salted caramel and chocolate it's gluten-free and um, dairy-free so I like it Ella likes it but what I've been doing every night let me just, let me just show you okay right, not every night but see that night I only got a couple spoonfuls out. I contained myself. I can't contain myself today. And then I put some of these um, crumbled up on top. It kind of reminds me of like a cone. Very, very good. These are from Aldi. The only thing missing is hot fudge. I love hot fudge and right now I'm not doing dairy, so hot fudge is the best. I could just like drink it by the gallon. All right guys, I'm going to end it here. It's about 10 p.m. Um, I just wanted to show you what I take before bed. So every single night um, I drink Natural Calm. You can get it on Amazon. I know they have a sleep one too, but this is the one that I like. It's the raspberry lemon flavor. I think it's like $20, but this will get you through like a really long time. Um, it says to start off with a half a teaspoon. I'm up to like the full dose right now, but just be careful because if you start with like taking too much, you will poop your pants. Um, and then also, I've been taking these uh, for a couple of weeks now. I really like them. They are ritual vitamins. Um, I've always been one to take my prenatals right before bed because one, they give me a stomach ache when I try to take them during the day, and two, with your Synthroid, your um, thyroid medication, you're not supposed to be taking like certain vitamins at the same time as that, which I have to take that every morning, so I take it at night, I never have a problem. The one thing I really like about those vitamins is that when you open it up, it's just like fresh lemon flavor, um, or lemon scent, so I think that's just to try to like help hide like the fish oil, but I've heard people say like they have like burps from them, but they probably take them in the morning. Um, but they never bother me at all at night. So natural calm and my prenatal is what I take at night. But anyway, I hope that you all enjoyed this video and that it gave you some ideas. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. It's always hard because like today was a busy day for me. So these were like my quick go-to meals besides dinner was like a, you know, actually took some time and effort. But um, like I didn't get to do my smoothie today or my celery juice. Those are things that I do a lot too um but anyway i feel like i could do these all the time because each day is really different um depending on what's going on in my life but i hope that you all enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up also now you can find on my website you can subscribe on my website and be like the first to get my recipes and things like that it's at um, tiffanybeeston.com so anyway thanks again for watching and i'll see you in the next one which will be Thursday, another spring cleaning video in my spring cleaning series. Whenever your heart is broken, don't ever forget your golden. I will find a light in your soul. I'll be there. I'll be there. Never leaving you in the darkness, even when you're out of focus. I will be the light in your life, your secret. I'll be your inspiration.